People want to give a Nobel Prize to this software. Mix engineer Michael Brower says, Isotope should win Nobel Peace Prize for Rx. He worked for big names, so his word must have some weight. I will give you a small demo with a voice recording, and you can see how it performs. You can also download a free trial of this software and check how it is performing for you. I have a piece of recording that has a strong hissing noise. I will drag it to the RX editor. Let's hear it for a few seconds to get an idea of the recording. During this recording, the ceiling pan is on. Okay, so the volume level is not optimal, and I will make it louder first. Effects are grouped by the type of work it does in RX. I need to increase volume by normalizing it, which is inside gain. I will normalize this audio recording. I will normalize it to minus 3, which is the accepted value on most platforms. Let's hear the recording again. This time, the hissing noise can be heard clearly. During this recording, the ceiling fan is on, so it is expected a very strong hissing noise will be recorded. I think audition offers a bit more flexibility in audio in noise removal than Adobe, uh, than Audacity. So you heard a strong hissing noise. RX has an intelligent tool called the Repair Assistant. The Repair Assistant can analyze the audio and can repair common problems. Click on the Learn button. RX is analyzing the audio. I can now listen to the audio with all these things applied from the preview button. I can bypass the effect while playing from the bypass button. During this recording, the ceiling fan is on, so it is expected a very strong hissing noise will be recorded. I think audition offers a bit more flexibility in audio in noise removal than Adobe, uh, than Audacity. During this recording, the ceiling fan is on, so it is expected a very strong hissing noise will be recorded. I think audition offers. Repair Assistant combines multiple effects, and you can change the amount of each effect applied. After analyzing the audio, the repair assistant will only apply the necessary effect. For example, it has not applied the declip effect, as my audio had no clipping. You can manually on or off an effect. You can adjust the percentage of the effect applied by clicking inside effect and dragging up or down. You can also listen to a particular anomaly, for example, the clicks from the ear icon. You can adjust all the settings while playing audio. If you think the audio is sounding best, you can render. Render make the changes from effect permanent. During this recording, the ceiling fan is on, so it is expected a very strong. It sounds pretty good. Let me show you where you can get the RX audio editor. Repair Assistant is available on RX Elements, and RX has two other versions. RX Element is the cheapest one with minimal features. Usually it is $129, but at the time of making this video, it gives a heavy discount. RX gives discounts from time to time, but not always. I bought RX Standard version, which is $399 at the moment. RX price is one time, meaning you pay once and can use the software forever. If you feel the RX Audio Editor works well for your audio, you can consider getting this software. You do not have to buy it to know how it performs. You can get a free trial for 10 days without any credit card. Go to azotope.com and search for RX10. You can get a 10-day trial with RX Advanced. You can compare RX versions to see which version has which features. RX Elements has minimal features but good enough for voiceover editing. Software like Adobe Audition requires a monthly subscription and can be overkill for many professionals. I suggest you install the trial of 10 days and play with it a bit. As the trial gives access to Advanced RX, carefully check if the feature is available on RX Elements.
If no offer is available at that time, you may have to wait some time to get a discount. If you wish, I can make some more videos showing the features of RX. Thanks for watching and see you next.